So today we're going to be going through my quarter two 2021 TBR. And I wanted to do this a little bit differently than just showing the book. What my plan is to hold up the book and read the first sentence or two if it's really short at my discretion. Um, I'm not really sure which one I want to pick up first, so I figured doing this will also do double duty in that I can figure out which one pulls me towards it first to go, okay, I'm going to start with that book. So, um, I'm only going to do these, this top shelf here. I think I've got everything here that I wanted to do. Missing one. Basically, just the top shelf and we'll go with those as I go throughout the quarter. I might pull more books from down here, but these are the ones I'm going to concentrate on first. And <laughs> how thick some of these are, maybe it might it'll probably bleed over to quarter three, but. I don't mind. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna pull one out here. First one, through the glass. I'd read Assassin's Blade, or rather, I listened to the audiobook of Assassin's Blade, and I'm looking forward to continuing the series. After a year of slavery in the salt mines of Endovir, Selena Sardathian, Sardathian, Sardathian was accustomed to be escorted everywhere in shackles and sword point. Now, Nevernight, I'm into it partially already. I did chapter five, so I'm five chapters in, but anyhow, I'll read you the first sentence, if I get there. <laughs> Caveat emptor, okay. No, I'm not reading that, so that's sorry. not happening. We'll, we'll skip to the chapter one instead of a little bit before. <laughs> okay. The boy was beautiful. Um, there is a little mini chapter thing to go for it, but I don't, I don't want to read that sentence. Okay. Next one is The Secret of Skull Mountain, the Hardy Boys. What do you mean we can't go swimming? asked Joe Hardy. Then we have the baby beat. Yeah. The Babysitter's Club Mystery Number Nine. Christy and the Haunted Mansion. I read this when I was younger, but I don't remember it. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Next one, Dead Reckoning, Lori Lawlor. Chapter one. The cottage shuddered with a loud knock. Open this door. I read two. <laughs> Next is Vampire Kisses, The Beginning, Ellen Schrieber. I think I'm saying that right. I like vampire books, by the way. You'll find that out. It first happened when I was five. I had just finished coloring in my kindergarten book. <laughs> okay. Next one is Jane. 
Squealy Line Emily by Patricia Clapp. I read this when I was younger. Looks like sixth grade. I think the school was getting rid of it. There are times when the midsummer sun strikes cold and when the leaping flames of a hearth fire give no heat. Okay. It's supposed to be like a children's horror book. A Taste of Smoke, Marion Dane Barr. Guessing the boy's smoke has like the outline of the boy's head and shoulders. Caitlin squeezed her eyes shut, counted to ten, and then let them spring open again. Mm -hmm. Then we have Dark Witch, book one of the Cousins of O'Dwyer trilogy by Nora Roberts. Winter 1263. Near the shadow of the castle, deep in the green woods, Sorcha led her children through the gloom toward home. Mm. Intriguing. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Now, I'm partially into this one. It's a bunch of little poems and songs and shanties. But still, we'll, we'll do this. It's the Sea Ships and Sailors. I'm not gonna do it from the introduction now. Buccaneers, Battles, and Bad Men. A Ballad of John Silver. We were shrewner rigged and rakish with a long and lissom hole. And we flew the pretty colors of the crossbones and the skull. We had a big black Jolly Roger flapping grimly at the fore, and we sailed the Spanish water in the happy days of yore. Okay, I got this one at Walmart and picked up. It caught my eye because I loved watching Hocus Pocus, and then when it says the all new sequel, I'm like, why is the movie not made yet? Now, uh, granted, Hocus Pocus is just perfect. Like, don't redo it, but I don't mind if we had a sequel. So, let's see what they do. Part one, then. Wild Things, Salem, 1693. The world was full of wild things then. It brimmed with oak and hemlock and dark whispering places that turned you round and round until there was no turning back. Let's see if we can find sequel part two now the sequel which please 25 years later salem 2018 i've never been so excited about a lecture about the articles of confederation okay i like the then more i think this one is Complete Tales of Beatrix Potter. I picked this up mostly for the tale. Well, I picked this up because I seen this in my school library back in high school, and I wanted to get a copy of it. So when I found this on Abe's, sorry, Abe Books, and it looks like identical to the one that I seen, I was very excited. So I'm not going to go to the about. We're going to go to the tale of Peter Rabbit. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. 
Then I have uh, A Kiss of Shadows, Laurel K. Hamilton. I believe this is part of the Mary Gentry series. Yes, Meredith, sorry. Meredith Gentry, or Mary Gentry. It's not the Anita Blake series. I don't have book one of that. I do have some of the others in that though. So this is the other series that she does. Let's see if the first sentence is okay. 23 stories up and all I could see out the windows was gray smog. They could call it the city of angels if they wanted to, but if there were angels out there, they had to be flying blind. Ooh, that should be cute. Okay, and then this one, when my local bookstore had shut down, they had donated all the books to the local library, and when the library did a book sale, they would do $3 per bag. I had bought six bags, so for 18 bucks, I ended up getting like 64 books or more. I want to say it was about 64. One of the was this role playing adventure, Lone Wolf. I'd gotten like 12 books from this. I want to say it's the entire series that I'd gotten, but I'm not sure. This is book one, Flight from the Dark, which that can count towards my buzzwordathon for the word dark. So let's see. Chapter. The first sentence says that. I don't know. Maybe. So we have like a little action chart thing. So it's kind of like an interactive book. It's kind of cool. We have different little parts here. We'll go here. The story so far. In the still recording. Yeah, but I'm running out of battery. Don't have a battery. In the northern land of the Summerland, it has been the custom for many centuries to send the children of the warrior lords to the monastery of Kai. This would be interesting. I used to do the Give Yourself Goosebumps books where you would go to different spots of the book, so I'm thinking this is going to be similar to that. Maybe. Okay, battery's dying. Next book, No Night Without Stars. Yeah, it's recording. No Night Without Stars, Andre Norton, new science fiction adventure by the best-selling author of The Jargoon Pard. Interesting. We've got like a dog and some other cat-like doggies. That's different. Cool. Let's see, first sentences. The thick plume of the greasy looking black smoke rising from beyond the ridge was warning enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I have goosebumps. Piano lessons can be murder. I thought I was going to hate moving into a new house, but actually, I had fun. <laughs> Rereading the Goosebumps. This one was a favorite during sixth grade. One day at Horrorland. As we entered the gates to Horrorland, we had no idea that in less than an hour we would all be lying in our coffins. Mm. Then I have In the Highlander's Bed by Kathy Maxwell. Mm. Ollie's Mill, Scotland, November 1808. Desperate men resorted to desperate measures. Oh soul. Or so, Gordon Lachlan reminded himself as he raised his hand in order for the three men he traveled with to halt on the moonlit road. Next one, I read The House of Furies, so I'm continuing the series. This is the second book, Court of Shadows. Prologue. 
go from the prologue. Year two, journal a Benyu who runs. They emerge from the tree like worms from the earth. More shadow than mass, they slithered out from between the groaning cracks in the trunk before making their way to the clearing. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'm also continuing Stalking Jack the Ripper series. Um, so this is book two, Hunting Prince Dracula. A Carrie Manis Calco. Calco? Manis Calco. Yes, I did right. One, Ghost of the Past, Orient Express, Kingdom of Romania, December 1st, 1888. Our train gnashed its way along frozen tracks toward the white-capped fangs of the Carpathian the mountains. From our position outside Bucharest, the capital of Romania, the peaks were the color of fading bruises. Cute. That picture. Oh, some graphic novels. This one is Five Night at Freddy's, The Silver Eyes, the graphic novel. He sees me. I have to get out. I have to. <laughs> okay. And I'm continuing Monstrous. I did volume one. So this is volume two, The Blind. Chapter 7. Miss, I woke up last night and you were gone. I went for a walk, little fox. I was restless. Ooh. Scary. I have Grim Fairy Tales Inferno. Graphic novel. so far. 25 years ago, two young twin sisters named Mercy and Grace were orphaned when a paid assassin took the lives of their parents. Cool. Looks intriguing. Grim Fairy Tales Sinbad crossover. Crossover. Okay. Chapter 1. The drunkard over in the corner, he's your man. Captain J. Crane. Depends on who's asking. I'm Belinda, a dear friend of your greatest rival, Sinbad. <laughs> I'll probably do all the graphic novels on the same day or at least the same weekend. Still not sure which I want to pick up first though. As far as the rest. Hmm. Also listening to the audiobook of the Hound of the Baskervilles, which has been fun. I'm like four hours into it, a lower halfway. Alright, so that was my TBR for quarter two of 2021, so April, May, June. Um, some of it, most of it. To be honest, I'll probably bleed over into quarter three, which I'm okay with. TBRs are just lists to start you off. They're not definite. <laughs> At least not in my world. So thank you, and I shall see you in the next video. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Do that again. I should, I should point this at you. Let's go again. In the still recording. Yeah, I'm running out of the battery. Don't have a battery. Yeah, new battery. Okay, we're gonna leave off. Not again. As far as these go. Hmm.
I'm gonna pick this one up first. 